Hola, hola. Okay. So, going live, trying to get someone who's never gone live before to get theirs up and running. So, hopefully, we'll see our special guest soon. All right. Testing, testing. Can anybody hear me? Hello, hello. Okay. Let's see if, um, I guess I haven't mentioned their name and I swear I just got lipstick all over my teeth. Let's take a picture. Um, someone is trying to go live with us, but yeah, totally. Got to toothpaste, lipstick all over my teeth. Bear with me. Gonna open the chat. Hey Nora, Grandma Wrinkles and in Incense Shop. How about the chat? <laughs> You see me. <laughs> I see you. I'm all, yeah. Hello. Someone else just woke up. One big happy family. Okay. Oh, Tina, there you are. Um, so before the stream, I called my husband and I was like, okay, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to do some changes tonight. Um, the kids are in the living room and I can see them here, but I've got to, uh, move the video game that they like to play into their bedrooms so that I can have some peace and quiet and not be stressed out. Let's see here. YouTube isn't very friendly, I guess, for new people that want to go live. Gina has trouble, too. Gina, you coming live? Let's get this show on the road so we can um, start listing some stuff. Everybody's here. I can't really go live because, I don't know, I don't want y'all to see me all yelling at my kids. My oldest one, he uh, has mentioned lately that he gets pleasure out of um, annoying me and my husband. So he likes to drive us crazy. I guess he needs attention. More attention. <laughs> hey, Thrifty Christy. Are you going live, Gina? <clears throat> I got my background music going too. That's what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you sell this kind of stuff like a dart shooter thingy on? Um, can you sell this kind of stuff on eBay? Does anybody know? Girl, we all yell at our little munchkins. I know. But you don't go live, Nora. <laughs> My husband said, are those new overalls? I was like, yeah. He was like, they're cute. I was like, thanks. They're um, juniors, size extra large. And um, they have a lot of stretch in them. They're by uh, Wallflower. Y'all might have saw me haul these. They're my new summer shorts. Yes, you can silk. Yes, you can sell. Jouster for some things. What's that? I'm lost. Yes, you can sell. Come on, Gina. Come on, my special guest. I might be alone. Um, I te texted Flippin' Hustler and told him if he wanted to go live, but I don't think he's been online. Toad, Toad Todd hasn't been online for oh, eight minutes ago. He's ignoring me. Where are you, Todd? Oh, thanks. Your overalls in your Poshmark closet are amazing, Sheila. 
Jouster is for gun stuff. Yeah, I'll probably just do Craigslist. Stick to what I know, right? Hmm. I just don't like to sell very many men stuff on Craigslist. Because I don't like to meet men on Craigslist. So I let my hubby do it. You better be nice, Oreo. All right, I was trying to get some people live with me. Nobody's coming. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to do some research. I have a couple things to list anyway. There you go. It isn't cooperating. Um, I can sell anything, Oreo. I probably could sell you, dude. I could probably, yeah, I could sell you in a heartbeat. Too bad you live in Canada. You'd pay me the half commission. Um, hey, Bearded Picker. Thanks for putting me in some of your videos at the, um, what was it, Goodwill? And was it bowling? Or we shot some zombies in Austin? So much fun. Okay, um, first thing I need to get this out of my life. I bought these two pieces together. I don't even know if they sell. Where did I get them? At the pound store? <laughs> my kid aired it up. I don't even know how to deflate it. You got to unscrew it, I think. Somewhere. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to look like a dummy. Here it is. And listed in her international. Ha ha. Y'all are funny. How the heck do you deflate these things? Because I am not a nurse. Damn, I should have went to school, right? I'm squeezing the air out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hooker, that little girl's here again. You cannot go play outside with little girls, okay? You're for... You're for Forbidden, or I can't say the damn word. There is flipping squeeze. Really? No. You gotta be able to deflate it a different way. It's probably gonna go in the garage sale, but I'm gonna look these up real quick and see if they're worth eBay's time. I am very, very picky about my eBay listings, especially lately. Oh, do you wanna see what I bought? I went to Toys R Us. Did y'all see my video? Forbidden. <laughs> Um, lately. Hi. 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 Did y'all see my video? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even believe I finally <laughs> got on. Uh, hold on. Let me mute. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm still having issues. I can't get it to come up on the computer, but I'm going to use my phone. So. Can anybody, oh, okay, can anybody see Kristen, or can y'all just hear her, like, go ahead. I'm gonna mute my screen, hold on. <laughs> I saw myself there for a second. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's funny. Do you feel alone? <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. I was like awkwardly sitting here. Hi, everybody. Awesome. Um, well, this is um, Kristen's first time to go live. Yeah, I had to put the dog up because Chloe, somebody knocked on the door. She'll bark like crazy. So is that your backdrop behind you or is your... Yeah, no. I was... Uh thinking a while ago about doing YouTube. So I figured that I might as well like buy one of these vinyl backdrops off of uh, Amazon for really cheap. And I just kind of stuck it up there. And um, you have to get really close to it to make it look real. But yeah, it's just back there for now doing whatever. <laughs> I'm downstairs in my uh, room for doing all eBay and Poshmark stuff. So it's totally a messy place, but it works for me right now. And, so and how, yeah. 
How'd you get the logo? Did you you have logos printed or something? Logos for your name. Oh, your name is on there. That's cool. Oh, back there. Um, that's yeah. actually a sign that I stuck there. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. My logo. You're, you're, I should have went with it and been like, yeah, okay. You're a photographer, so I didn't know if you had logos. I don't have a logo. I have um but but that's something I'm working on. Yeah. And over here is actually the, re the rest of the room. This is like the family room down here. So I have my setup. I'm setting up shoes right now. I'm um, this is my photography studio setup. Oh, wait, are you in your basement? Yeah, this is, um, it's not really like a basement per se, but it's the second level. It's like the family room. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. I've got a little of everything tossed everywhere. This is my shipping area right here. Wow, you're a true reseller, man. Yeah, and these are my boxes that I've been saving that they <laughs> haven't gotten broken down yet. So I mean, like this is this is how I'm living right now. Um, and my husband, I just tell him, don't come down here. <laughs> no, I need my own little room like that. Maybe when one of my kids moves out, right? You only have one kid, and I have two, so yeah. And I have four bedrooms, so I have the space to do this business. It's just, you know, sometimes I get a little crazy with um, buying stuff and not organizing first. So, you know. Hmm. Awesome. Thanks for showing us your setup. I sent it to him, Gina. And I was going to send it to you. Well... Okay, I just got to pass out one more link that I know of so far, and then I'm done. So you have a bunch of drafts ready, you said, or? Yeah, gonna... actually, um, I had some drafts that I had prepared before I went to Texas with you and uh, the Green Room Meetup. Yeah. And I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody, any one of your subscribers or to you, but if you don't, if you neglect to uh, complete the listing or the draft, it disappears one day and then you have none left. How many you know? more do you think? Like I lost about 20 and that's because I think I did 20 in one day. And then because I, I let them go for a few weeks, they that just like makes my heart kind of hurt. Like all yeah, that hurt. So <laughs> caution because I didn't know that that was a thing. And when it happened to me, I, I flipped out. I was like, a piece of my heart <laughs> left Bearded me. Bearded Picker says drafts disappear in 30 days. Is it 30 days? It's happened sooner than that, for sure. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Interesting. I know some of mine were not 30 days mm -hmm. old. So I'm not sure if that is completely right. But, um, but yeah, horrifying stuff. So I'm going to start from scratch, but I'll show you what I do have because this has happened to me before I go and I print out the drafts that I was working on just in case. So I, I have what the description that I used and the price that I was going to sell it for and all of that, just so that I have a basic idea of where to start when I start doing the drafts again. That's awesome. I see. Yeah, you learn. <laughs> You're so brave to come on. She, uh, I know, so I'm, I'm scared to death right now. <laughs> Are you really? Oh, I wanted yeah. to, I wanted to ask you. So when we were in Austin at the hotel Lone Star, was it you had started the coconut water and then Raken saw it and Raken was like, oh my God, where'd you get that coconut water? And I'm like, the bar, they don't even charge you for it. And Raken was like, um, that's what I'm getting. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it was, I have coconut water, a coconut drink that I like to drink. Cucumber, sorry. But you started it with the cucumber stuff. No, it was somebody else had it at the bar. And I was like, ooh, cucumber water. <laughs> yeah. But refreshing, yes. 
Yeah, I never. So I, my husband went shopping Sunday or whatever. I think it was Sunday. And I was like, yeah, I need a bunch of cucumbers. Start drinking. <laughs> hey, girls, how you doing? Hey, wait, where are you? Oh, I was looking. There's Flippin'. Hey, I haven't seen you forever oh. live. Kristen, this is Flippin'. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Kristen. Nice to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> you just wait a minute. Did you just call me ma'am? I uh, did. Oh, God. He's very do that. That's why he's all right. miss, but ma'am is like, I'm not 60 years old. <laughs> hey, Todd, do you want to see what I okay. bought? Do you want to see what I bought at Toys R Us? Yeah. It's not a lot. Yeah. Um, <coughs> That's what you got. So I scanned a couple things and I found these. Uh -huh. Really little, like I don't even know what they are, but I paid. Um, they're originally like six bucks, but I think I got them for like seventy cents each. I can't even. Doesn't even show. But I spent forty bucks on these, and they sell for okay on eBay. But I figured, you know what? Maybe because um, they're kind of like a toy, right? Maybe around Christmas they'll kind of fly off the shelf. Who knows? If not, I wasted forty bucks, but we'll see. <laughs> what are they? Um, what are they? So it's drop mix. I have a series one and series two. There was a bigger box that came with it, but um, they weren't selling as often. But these sold more, and they didn't have. They weren't overly saturated. I don't know. Some kind of music. <laughs> I've never heard of Drop Mix. Me neither. Um, so I went ahead and got it. Two different kinds. Because I scanned them with my eBay app and I went to the solds and I did a little bit of research. So I went ahead and bought, I went ahead and bought every single one that they had. I was like, 70 yeah. cents isn't a bad investment, right? Right. Yeah. Um, Easy to ship. It's like two ounces, huh? Yes. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that's also a huge score flip in, I thought, too. After after I bought them, I didn't realize that those were actually shipped. With you know? Gotcha. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah. So, Kristen, you're, you hung out with Heather then at the, the green I room. did. You know? Yes. Yeah, we, how was that for you? We were fast friends, and <laughs> I had never met her before this trip, and we just okay. were like tra travel buddies hanging out, That's looking cool. out for one another, taking on the town. Oh, I <laughs> saved right. Kristen at least. Oh, my God, you did, yeah. Talk about but I did save her. <laughs> You did. Wow. I was just thinking about that today. How, where would I be today if you hadn't saved me that night? <laughs> Maybe down the road we'll talk about it. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to know. We had a lot of fun. We did. Oh, so we much. That. Yes. Good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Um, so I don't know. Does anybody sold these before? Oh, those are supposed to sell really well. I've never found any of those, but if I did, I know they do well. They don't seem dirty, which is good. So we'll see. I'm not seeing any. It's called a. Is this called a stethoscope or not? Yes. Stethoscope. Yeah. yeah. Hey Heather, uh, stick those earpieces and smell them real quick. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm just playing. Please don't. <laughs> My, uh, if y'all don't know, maybe it, if anybody has garage sales, there's this app called Nextdoor. Have y'all heard of it, Kristen or Todd? Yeah, yeah. No, huh? Well, it's called Nextdoor app, and so you can kind of communicate with people in your town or your neighborhood. And my neighborhood was like, hey, does anybody want to have a neighborhood garage sale in two weeks? And I was like, 
me. Yeah. yeah. These are the people in your neighborhood. That's what I was, popped in my head when you were saying that. There's Bonafide. Hola. Bonafide. Hey, Bonafide. So, Mr. Hustler. I got people texting me. Bonafide watching. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool. cool. Yeah. Like, it's true. I heard Rockstar Flipper. He's like, yeah, I got people who text me about stuff that go on. And it's true. It's starting to happen to me. I got people messaging me like, when are you going live? When are you going live? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm almost there. Yeah, you're working on it, Todd. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay. I found this at a thrift store. <laughs> I Somebody told me to pick up uh, decanters, like for old um, coffee machines because the glass ones, they always break. So um, this one hasn't sold yet, but uh, it should sell for about anywhere from 15 to $20. And I got it for like a dollar. Um, so yeah. Nice. Somebody just needs to break their uh, decanter and then ka-ching. <laughs> Well, I've, I've got my empty one right here. I hope uh, I don't break it, but it's, this one's too small. Don't so hold on to that one. <laughs> That's like this a, is a four cup. Yours looks like an eight cup or a six cup. That mini one. It's a twelve mine. cup. Oh, oh, no. See, it's big. Reminds me of a hotel decanter, right? Because they have the mini ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. All right, let's see what sold or used stethoscopes sell for. Probably not a lot. I'm not throwing them in the ground. So let's see. Have you ever seen uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre plush? No. Yeah, me That's neither. Yeah, it's going. I mean, some of them sell for okay. Um, some of them actually sell for definitely under like ten bucks. And mine, unfortunately, has a permanent marker with the nursing home or actually home health uh, wrote on it. So I'm gonna throw this one in the. What's this one called? A blood pressure cuff thingy? Like mm -hmm. nurse? Yep. Home? They wrote their name on this one too, though. So. You know what Heather? What's Try and up? hit that uh, hit that marker with a, uh, a magic eraser, and I bet that'll knock a good portion of it off. It looks like it stained it all the way through the rubber. Oh, that's you know nice. what I mean? Yeah, they wrote with a permanent marker on that. One. Mm. So. Well, to put that in your listing, and maybe the person that buys it will have the same name as the name Bob or something. Yeah, I know. With I name on it. I thought about bundling it together. It's a home health company. Might sell better together. Mark over it. Bundle it. Yeah. Let's see what the signometer sells <laughs> for. Uh, have you got any of that stuff listed yet that your friend gave you flipping? I have, and I did. Um, I've got like 16 drafts that were done. I have seven of those already uploaded. They're live, and I'm working on this right here. Um, so just some crazy stuff, and this is little stuff that I'm working on, stuff that you guys didn't even see. So, yeah. But I have a Tribble. Are you, you know anything about Star oh Trek? God. Anybody out there? A tribble? For real? I do. No. <laughs> How cool is that? It's a tribble. Oh my God. That's awesome. Where did you get that? <clears throat> I know. It's staying here with me. Hey, look. Uh, at, so, hold on. Look at the, uh, the arm cuff that I have. doesn't sell for a lot, but look at this older vintage one. I would have never thought it did sell for 54 hmm. Nice. Plus 20 what bucks. I would have never thought to pick that up because this one's already discouraged me. It's cool. Sorry. Did it come in at nine 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 ninety five for yours? What was uh, yours? They're selling like for nine bucks, ten bucks, I think. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, just throw it in the garage. Uh, 
your shipping and all that fees. It's not worth my time. Just lot both of those together, that stethoscope and that blood pressure cuff. Throw in a vintage watch and say, here you go, man. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I will if they don't sell in a garage sale for $5 each. But I'll tell you what, that box is selling good on eBay more than once. The box alone is 35 you guys. I've never even seen these at my pound store or anything. So that's cool to learn about that. All right. I'm gonna watch. Let me grab my book so I can write it down. <laughs> really? Like a bolo? Yeah. I have a book. Did you see that that pet hair remover pad sold for like the $45? Did you see that flipping? No, I didn't see that. That's crazy. You know That's what awesome. you're talking about? Yeah, you were talking about them last week or something. Yeah, they did sell for the $45. Oh, you got to show right. me the keyword or what did you say? Was it Star Wars? Vintage blood pressure dials. It's a pressure monitor gauge, I think it says. Hold on. That's pretty interesting. I never have even seen one with a little box. I'll just say vintage blood pressure unit. <laughs> or it's a dial. Is it a dial? Okay. Oh, it's a wall mount, like for the doctor's office, maybe. Maybe that's why. My next. Yeah. Are you okay? Fifty nine ninety five plus twenty ship. So I have here a Camp Crystal Lake banner. You know what Camp Crystal Lake is, Heather, or anybody out there? Nope. She does. It's uh Friday the thirteenth. That's the cabin that's the uh Camp Crystal Lake where everybody got murdered. Oh wow. No. That's crazy. Crazy. It's the movie though. It's just the movie. It's the movie. Oh, okay, so it's not real. Like No. Heck no. <laughs> that's <laughs> That's hilarious. I guess I'm going to list these thingies that I bought today, huh? Oh, I finally fixed on my uh, desktop. I could probably accept the Google Hangouts now and use my desktop computer, but next time that'll happen, I'm sure. But I fixed it. I figured it out. Test it. Close it out and reopen it, Kristen. Okay. Do it. Yep. Bye. Okay. Bye. If I could figure I'm out here. how to get out of this now. <laughs> Just close it. <laughs> or kill the app since she's on her phone. Mm. Oh, look at pretty peacock. I still see you and hear you, though. I don't think you're all the way out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm learning okay. with you to teach people how what, they're, what, to, what to do, I guess. <laughs> All right, scanner, don't do me down. See how this is going to work to sell similar. I should probably sign up for Amazon, huh? But I don't think I have enough barcodes to even try it. Out. So I have my Hangouts open. I don't have the chat open because I couldn't see what was going on. Show me that T word that I didn't know, or do you said something that you got something and she was like, oh, you got it? What was it? Yeah. Was it the it's called a tribble. Sure. Hold it up. Hold on. Tribble. Tribble. Oh, Star Trek. Oh. Oh, yeah. it's new. new. The little animal. Yeah. How much does it cost? I don't. I haven't even looked it up yet. I cannot get off this call. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kill, uh, kill the app on your phone. Just slot, close all oh. your apps. There. Yeah, scan it real quick. Yeah, scan it on the cells real quick. That's cool. It's new sealed. Tribble. Huh. So I paid. Um, 
74 cents for these maybe, plus the tax at the Toys R Us today. I got all that they had in stock, but they had the big pieces, boxes that go with it. It shows one of them sold for $7.19, April 30th, May 25th, $6.79. And then there's like maybe a set of them for $38, bucks, but I don't know. I just took a risk on these, and I'm just going to sit on these till I die. And there's Kristen. Hi. Can y'all see? Can you see? I don't know. I just took a risk on these, and I'm just going to sit on these till I die. And there's Kristen. Hi. I can hear you guys. That's on you. It's pretty good there. Do you hear feedback or am I tripping? Yeah, wait, is that me? Yeah, pause the video, Kristen. Or, yeah. I'm really, I apologize if any of this You're feedback fine. is me. I'm going to message her. Oh, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Go to pick our kit. Um, remember your first name. Oh, I know it. Uh, Scott. Is it? That's okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so I have a question for Scott and all the, the guys who know this kind of stuff. So I scanned this Tribble, but it came up as something completely different. It came up as a T-shirt. So how often for you guys do you scan something and it comes up as a different product? Books? Yeah. But individual items? What the heck? Um, well, I mean, most of the stores put their own barcodes on it, so that's why you're pulling up a different item. So you just need to find one and hit sell similar or create your own. Right. Of course. All right. All right. But I think it's just because the stores sometimes put a different barcode on it. I even I was at Toys R Us today, and there were barcodes over the real barcode at Toys R Us. Yeah. Heather, I have a question. Okay. So when it comes to jewelry... Where did you start selling your jewelry on Etsy or Poshmark or eBay? Um, that's a really good question. I actually haven't been selling my jewelry. I just started doing the bag hauls on YouTube because people love, I love it. It's a surprise to me. Um, and I, I did list one piece after my first recent bag and it sold for $45 on eBay. It was a Brighton necklace. And it was hidden in a $25 goodie surprise bag. And so after I got that one sale within 30, 30 minutes or an hour of listing it, I got hooked. I was like, I'm going to keep going. I like jewelry. Y'all like jewelry. It's a surprise. Um, it's thrifting. It's reselling. So Poshmark, it's not doing great unless it's a name brand. But I would probably need to go to like eBay or Etsy, but I'm not into Etsy yet. So I don't have Neither any. Am I. I'm, I'm, I don't know enough about it. I think that's the thing. Like for instance, mm -hmm. um, I acquired this watch right here and it's a uh, long gines. I think that's how you say it. And it is, has a, it's a watch with a very long history. And some of them, some of the watches go up thousands of dollars, but I don't, I don't know enough about watches to know where the best place to put it is, I guess, eBay. Um, I'm going to take it to a watch person and have it cleaned and um, try to see where it will do best, I guess. It's 1950s. What do you That's think? Welcome. Welcome. You'll, you'll get more money on Poshmark, but it'll sell faster on eBay because the traffic on eBay is much more than Poshmark. I agree. Yep. Howdy, Scott. How you doing, sir? Howdy, howdy, Todd. How are you? Good, good. Everybody. Trying to get, trying to get an Amazon shipment out. Okay. This this office slash garage is just full of crap. I can relate. Crap. We all got crap. <laughs> yeah, but I've got, a, do. I've got a two car garage full. I've got this car garage full. Two car garage full. 
<laughs> you, you travel so, too. Yeah, people are asking me, why are you, why are you back, coming off of Amazon and back in eBay? Because I got to get rid of this crap. Have you been selling more on eBay than Amazon lately? No, I've just increased eBay because I have over a thousand pieces of majority of Amazon's, but I haven't actively been selling anything yet lately. Yeah. Well, so, I Go ahead. say, Heather, you were asking about that Tribble. Here's the sold. Looks like one sold on March 24th, which is my birthday, for $16.99 plus $3.75 shipping. Uh, but I'm keeping it, man, because it's cool. New in the box. I know. I, yeah, I just have never seen this, and I have very few Star Trek things. I know Bearded Picker this morning was talking about don't get attached. Man, it's hard sometimes, isn't it? And <laughs> uh, the pile behind me. <laughs> Once you can do it, it's a long time. If there's any money in it down the road, I'm gonna get high. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm a little older than you too, so you know I don't have any collections. I'm getting rid of collections. Well, didn't you just turn fifty recently? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. No. Sorry, man. I'm, oh, I'm right. Sorry. I'm forty-five, so. That's why I keep my wife because uh, she she looks about thirty five, so she makes me look younger. Nice. So uh, Halloween props and costumes. Wants to know who's this beard to do? Do I sell online? I I do not. Sometimes I make videos. I hang out with this loser at the yard sales, but uh, we never. Uh, Harlan is Halloween props and costumes. He him is. And, him and Alabama. Y'all live in the same town, right? Yeah, he, he's actually at work right now. He, he, oh, he works a full-time job at part-time reseller. Oh, uh, Harlan. Well, he'd probably appreciate this Camp Crystal Lake banner then. He he younger her. folks probably get the holes. I wish I knew what these freaking were. Open yeah. one up. 70 oh. cents. Right. It looks like a card. Let me see. Music gaming system required. Sold separates by Hasbro. Discover Pack. It's for teenagers. It says 16 and up. Hmm. Let me try to scan it on uh, Amazon to get some information about it. No, but I did scan it on eBay. It sounds so familiar to me. As if, like, I have uh, two three teenage uh, nieces and nephews. And this sounds really familiar. I think it's definitely a teen toy. Yeah. And I think it has something to do with music and mixing music. Yeah, it's Har um, Harmonix is a system it plays on. I just don't know anything about it. Yeah. I'm all, yeah. <laughs> hey, Heather, I'll be right back. I have to go pick up Caroline. She's swimming and she's like, don't be late, Dad. 309. I'll be right back. Okay. Caroline, she loves to swim just like me. <clears throat> okay, so series two cards may vary. New. I'm kind of excited. Like, this is like probably my first like bulk in a real store, like what the green room meetup was kind of about, you know? And I bought like multiple quantities. So, Again, 70 cents, it's an okay risk for me, to be honest. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've never done that. What's it like to buy something in a store and try to sell it? Yes. <laughs> I couldn't even yeah. understand what you said. I said I've never done that before. What's it like to buy it in a store and try to sell it online? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm kidding. Being sarcastic. You're, uh, you hang out with Harlan too much. Yeah, I, I do retail arbitrage, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've bought quite a bunch of junk in stores. I'm thinking about going to South Alabama. Around here, they report to L.A., Lower Alabama, Thursday and Friday. Wal Walmart's in the country. The dog's peeing right beside me. Aw. Pee right on my tile. Let's Let's our Come here, Bogey. Yeah. 
or not. Dog is peeing. He just peed all over my floor. So I showed this on one of my videos. I, I picked this lens up when I was in Austin. Yes, did you sell it? No, I hadn't got it listed yet, but it's worth three hundred and fifty dollars that I paid seventy five bucks for. That's cool. It's a it's a Sigma lens for pen. I, it was in the auction at one of the Goodwills. Who was the bed bug guy? What did y'all call him? The one that they made the shirt over by? What was his name? Um. I Jameson? remember saying the shirt. I can't remember who it was. Not Jameson. It was uh, the guy that had glasses. Well, Jameson had glasses. Alex? No. Alex had the shirt, but Alex made the shirt from some oh, other guy. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, he, we went to his car, and he showed us he had thrifted a, uh, what was it? I think he called it a diamond cutter. Like, he had hauled a big box, like a. I would have never really thought to research stuff like that at an estate sale or a garage sale, but after being around all you men. A box resizer? Huh? Are you talking about a box resizer? No, I got that from um, Texas Gal Treasure. What's her name? Margaret. No, no, no. Um, it was like an actual diamond cutter. It was a big machine he had in the front seat of his car that sold for like $3,000, $4,000. Um, but it was like an older machine, and I would have never thought to look it up. But I'm going to start looking up bigger stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing you'll learn is if, if you get away from clothes a little bit, you get a lot. You can find items that you make a lot more money on. I, yeah. I, started, on, I started with clothes years back but clothes, clothing is much harder now than it used to be right it's oversaturated isn't it huh yeah uh -oh. it's like harlan with his we were in the van and driving and his big ass coca-cola signs rattling like we had like we had all got married and we had cans floating in the back of the car <laughs> big ass signs <laughs> yeah that's what it sounded like on our way tea dinner it was funny. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't make any noise on the way back. I. Uh, I guess it was because him having to, him having to lean against it because the the seat was so small that it was it was causing pressure. But it was yeah. actually pretty quiet. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, so funny. I love it. One of the memories, right? We'll be talking about this for years to come. <laughs> Won't we, Kristen? <laughs> Hey, um, bearded pickers. So, if I hit sell similar, it won't pull over the. How do you get the original stock photo to pull over on eBay? Sometimes it does it, and sometimes it doesn't. What am I doing? I, it oh. never pulls. It never pulls over for me. I just copy paste. Oh, I see. This guy didn't have the original one, anyways. But I've had it happen before. <laughs> Have you, Kristen? I didn't hear that because I got disconnected. My internet. You sell on eBay, right? I do. So have you ever like hit sell similar and sometimes time. and it pulls over the stock photo though? Sometimes it does. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how you know when you have a stock photo. Well, I mean, sometimes it pulls it up for me, but it doesn't like let me use it. I don't know. The information populates in all of the fields. And or then I could create the new listing that has the stock photo. You know, I don't wish I knew how to do that. Maybe we could research it one day. I think yeah, that's what it does for me. If, if it does show up, it says you've got to put a picture in there because you can't use the picture or exactly. whatever. That's what I get. Thank you. So no stock photo, huh? Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think it's done it for me before. Yeah. Oh, and when it does pull over the stock photo, when I try to take my additional second picture, it takes off the stock photo. So it won't even let you add additional photos last time I did it. The eBay is just I don't even it. know why they put they make it pop up there if they can't if you can't use it, if they won't let you. Like, come on. Yeah. Yes. Okay, 
I hope these sell around Christmas time because these are going to be great stocking stuffers. <laughs> right? They fit perfect. I, my wife's family gets mad at me when we're playing uh, Dirty Santa and I have to go around the room scanning all the, all the presents to see which one I want. Dirty Santa? What are you talking about? I never played that. It, where every, all the gifts are on the tree and the first everybody gets a number and you pick an order from one to the last person and each, the next person can steal the, the present from the person before or from anybody who's gone before. Chinese Christmas? I don't know. <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> That's funny. It, it kind of sounds like it. Except we only do that like at Christmas parties for work and stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't care what the gift is, just can I resell it, because most of the time I don't like most of it anyway. Cool. Okay, guys, I'm working on my first listing. So they're selling for around six, seven dollars. I I don't know, I'm gonna just put mine up for nine ninety nine. What do y'all think? Or should I do like eight ninety five or something? Nine ninety nine. Start high and give yourself room room to lower. No, I've never played dirt. Just trying to What'd you say, flipping? I said, is there a lot of them out there, or how many is your list? I just got back in. Uh uh, no, there's not a lot listed at all. I don't think so. I just um, can't check because I'm in the listing screen real quick. New and sealed. That's all I'm going to put. Okay, Hasbro. I'm going to take the kids to the water park at 4, so we'll probably hang out until a little close to 4, and then we'll probably end it. Okay. Let's motivate to list, everybody, because I ain't even got one up yet. Close. No, come on. I'm trying. I've been neglecting eBay because I've been concentrating on Poshmark so hard, but now that I've got up to speed pretty much now I'm you know getting back to eBay and I don't know what I want to do with all my clothes because I was doing clothes and shoes on eBay and then when I got to posh it was just like hmm what do I do with clothes and shoes on eBay should I cross post yes yeah, you should cross post I, I was our, our posh listing I've, I've been told posh listings are easier to make is that correct it is. It's true. It's it's way easier. Um, that's why I'm. That's why I'm tempted to not do any clothing or shoes on eBay anymore because of the ease of Poshmark. But I know that I should probably at least do shoes on both sites. Now, how does it work when you something sells off of one or the other platforms? Does it won't automatically come off the other, right? No, it doesn't. That's, my big That's why you got to be like quick on your feet and remember that you most likely have it on the other platform and then just go there and just end the listing or, or delete it, delete the post. I've had to do that. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any problems. Fingers well, crossed. If it, if it sells on both of them, you, you, you should sell it on, on eBay because Poshmark doesn't give, doesn't penalize you for canceling. I believe eBay, if you cancel for out of stock more than a few times and, uh, you get in trouble. Yeah, they hit you hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's one of the metrics. Most people, when they're sales, they only get like two or three of those before they're kicked out of top rated seller and very, very quickly the low standard. Yeah, I'm probably getting close to the end of the straw on canceling listings because I'll sell it at garage sales and stuff. Or, um, yeah, true story happened recently. Getting close. <clears throat> it's like, what the heck is that noise? Is somebody cleaning something? <laughs> it's, it's, I've got trying to get the residue from stickers off these documents. Oh, cool. What'd you pay for those? Three bucks. At like Toys R Us or what? No, uh, Walmart on Claire. Oh, cool. I see. Walmart does have a parents, huh? 
never go check it out though. <laughs> oh no, not 29 days. I said I wanted it to list till I canceled it. <clears throat> Did y'all all know that I, that I talked about this, I think, once, that I have recently learned that you're paying the same fee if you list it for 30 days or list it good till canceled? Really? <laughs> That's why I repeat things. Did you know that, Flippin? Or are you being smart with no, me too? I, no, I'm honestly, I had no idea. Okay, I learned from YouTubers. <clears throat> oh, it does say good till cancel. What I've been doing is using uh, when I go through when it says you push a little box and then it'll list it up to eight times, but you may incur fees. That's what I've been using because I'm just getting so so burnt. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to get rid of the, the cheap stuff, keep the higher dollar stuff, and I want to not think about it as much. Maybe that is my sense. Yeah, I like the good till canceled if I know I'm going to. I usually do 30 days, but I get tired of relisting them every 30 days if it's inventory that I don't want to donate. <laughs> These are interesting, you guys. It's like they're the same thing, and they don't say anything different, but the picture is different. Like, this chick has a baseball. I've been pulling weeds in my backyard, so I got, like, dirt in my nails. This one is a... Uh, flower like this one's got some <clears throat> old picture but they don't say a different name weird so well, do... since there's something to do with music they're probably different songs or different something but it doesn't tell me i guess there's a lot of companies do that use the same barcode for a bunch of items yeah it's weird <clears throat> so i have to create like i have two here Two here, so I'm going to create a listing with two of these, then a listing with two of these, then a listing with two of these, and a listing with two of these, right? What do you got, Kristen? These. My sister gave me like three pairs, brand new with box, everything. This is a clog, right? You would say this is a clog? Is that a cl Clark's clog? No, soft spots. I'm just looking them up now. Kind of, yeah. Like slip or... Like a slip-on clog or something. Yeah. I was wondering, since it has the back, is it still a clog? You know, when I think of clog, I just think of kind of like a slip-on without a back. But whatever. Poshmark has it under... Two word, two words in one. So clog slash what? Have to look. Hold on. <clears throat> like they're going for much. Here we go. Here we go. Anybody like the X Files? Are they clogs or are they technically mules? Yeah, they put slash mules. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, because I've looked up some, um, and that's the ones that have a back are saying. Um, yeah, I have those. Yeah, I have them under clog. Poshmark has the category there. It's a two in one. You just click one button, and it's going to list it under mules and clogs. Oh, okay. Okay. I would put both. Like they're kind of the same. Hey, country mom. Mules and clogs. Yeah. yeah I'd like okay. to put multiple words. Thanks. Yeah. I like overuse my words. But you're right here to people. Man, I'm so jealous. All three of you have your own private little, like, huge room that is, like, 
completely dedicated to your reselling. It's so cool. I'm jealous. Yeah, I built this uh, 20 by 24 two car garage out here to run eBay and Amazon. That's awesome. Hmm. All right, I got plenty of the room, though. The more reason, the more that you can justify hoarding. Right. <laughs> yeah. More of my wife wanted. To, I'd taken over one bedroom. Uh, and I, I was in the next one, and I had stuff in the living room, and she's like, "This has got to go. We got to figure something else." <laughs> My husband just ignores this room. <laughs> he doesn't have to walk through it to get to anything. So it's just, he turns a blind eye and we both don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, my husband never really talks about my stuff either. He never gets crap or anything. That would be really hard to uh, deal with. I was just thinking um, just yesterday, how like more I think my husband is more supportive on my thrifting than he is on my real estate career, which I spent a lot of money to get into real estate, which it was worth every penny of it, not the headache and the heartache. But um yeah, it's shocking how I can't believe like he really does support thrifting, but he does support the real estate, but he had a hard time at first. Man. Really cool. My wife supports the reselling. She didn't care what I do, but she was just tired of living with the inventory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's never cool to live in clutter, so you do you definitely got to clean it out and make room sometimes for show. My wife just told me yesterday, she said, I don't think I could ever have you go back to a regular. Well, I used to work 12 hours a day selling cars, but never could work, go to a regular job because I was so unhappy doing it. I was like unhappy all the time and now I have a bad day once a month like a human does, you know? So it's pretty neat. Yeah, my mom, after I quit the last restaurant I worked at in 2013, she's like, after a month, she's like, can I, can I tell you this? You won't be mad. I'm like, you know, I don't care. She's like, I don't know who this asshole has been the last couple of years, <laughs> but I'm glad he's gone now that you're reselling and you're not working for anyone now. <laughs> yeah. That is cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's never fun to go to a job and have a boss. Yeah, I don't think I could do it again. Reselling's kind of ruined me. I don't know that I'm I'm not fit to be an employee anymore. <laughs> no, that's right. I feel you on that. <laughs> Which I probably wasn't a good employee from the beginning, but whatever. Uh, employee. Yeah. <clears throat> I always wanted to be having the <clears throat> job of the boss. I wanted to be the manager or my su supervisor. I was not a good subordinate. <laughs> I ended up being a finance manager at the dealership I worked at, and that was a lot of pressure, man, because you get to cross an I or dot a T, it'd be a bad deal. So then I stepped down, became a salesman again, and, uh, always really tried to be the best I could. One day I came in, they said, Todd, I think you need to step in. I said, how about you guys have a nice day? Bye. I loaded up my stuff and I rolled. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, it's okay to work for somebody, but if they don't appreciate you when you're really trying, then forget about it. <clears throat> yup. I've got 29 active eBay listings. Probably need to relist some old ones, right? Yes, I do. I have more than 26. Hold on. <laughs> you, know my son, you know my son's going to wander out here in an hour or two and list 25 for the day. <laughs> Your son? Yeah, he's, he's 19 and he's, he'll be 20 this summer, but he had the choice of work for dad or go find a job, and since I only make him work a couple hours a day, he picked work for dad so he lists 25 a day yeah he's uh, teaching tucker speaking of which let me go check on that 12 year old okay. 
Never mind. He's good. So now it's fun to see him listing all the crazy stuff I bought. Like last night, he was listing breast pumps. And, oh. and somewhere I picked up these. Uh, I didn't even know they made them, but uh, liners for thongs. Who? <laughs> Oh, song panty liners. Yeah. I just, I know. <laughs> like, Man, really? I'm like, whatever. <laughs> they were on clearance. There's money in them. I never even heard of that. I, I, need to, uh, I ran into them one day. I'm like, really? I scanned them. I'm like, oh, well, I'll buy them. I'm thinking if you need a, a liner, you probably shouldn't be wearing a thong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But you know, uh, he's a 19 year old, almost 20, and so anything that I can, uh, <laughs> anything I can embarrass him with, just a bonus. Yeah. That's hilarious. Wait, you actually had him list those? Sorry. Yeah. He he, he's listed them, man. We've sold, I think, almost all of them except for one. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bearded Picker. <laughs> what I, what I yeah, I got somebody messaging me saying I'm watching y'all online and look what they sent me. <laughs> My big head, yeah. That's so funny. You're famous though. <laughs> You're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. So cute. You yeah, I'll, I'll, we have a 65 inch TV in the living room. I'll watch YouTube in there every now and then. This is the largest stream I've had. We're about to add someone. Are y'all ready for a surprise? Sure. Oh, it's another Austinite. Austinite. That's what they call him. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Oh, Austinite. I don't know where that came from, really. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Once it cools off from the temperature of hail in Austin, I'm going to go back into yard sales again. From hail? And it is hot. It's too hot in Austin. It it's not hot, hot like that in Alabama. Oh. Wait, I don't really feel like it was hot. I felt like it was humid. Hey, Joe Clay. Hey, what's up? What? Uh, you sound clear. You sound better than all of us. What are you using? And tell us, how are you sounding so clear? I'm using just my, uh, I'm using headphones with the mic right here. And then I have, uh, I'm on my just PC. Yeah. Okay. With the, I'm just using the, um, the camera on my computer and my laptop. Nice. Kristen put their headphones back in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what? I was, uh, it's, that's funny because, uh, I, I was on YouTube. I've been watching all these videos, and I saw you. I was like, "Oh man, they did a show together." So I, was, I flipped it on, and then, um, and then I messaged you. I was like, "Oh, my message." I was like, "Hey, I saw your show," and then you said you're live. No idea y'all were live. I just flipped it on. So yeah, I was like, "You want to come on?" He's like, "Yeah." Heck yeah, I love going on. So Harlan says, "I need another Austin night." Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> That's why I totally put in my slideshow, like, are we there yet? Is see you in 2019. Hurry. Awesome. How do I sound? Do I sound better now? Oh, yeah. You sound really good. Oh, good. <laughs> We're practicing. I'm always going on live on my show, on my channel all the time. So, quick, you know who was drinking the cucumber water at the Lone Star Court Bar? I don't remember. You were there, but you were on your computer all day. That's why you don't know who was drinking the cucumber water. Alex oh, you know who it was? It was um, it was uh, Karen Spencer, Thrifty Flamingo. It was Karen. Yeah, it was. Thank you, Kristen. I remember now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen, too. And congrats on her baby. No wonder she didn't party with us. Like, man. I don't think she knew at that time, though. But I just, I think she you know now, and I'm so excited for them. Yeah. It's like uh, the YouTube community thrifting baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know of any other YouTubers that are resellers that have had a baby. And like, <laughs> hey, we're pregnant. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. That's cute. It was, it was so cute. 
last name. I knew. I knew in my mind. I just knew it was coming. I don't know. <laughs> Well, Joe, we need to do a video one day where you kind of show us, walk us beginners for uh, your merch, and I'll definitely promote your uh, referral link. Don't you have a referral link for merch, sir? Uh, no, I don't have. A There's not a referral. They don't have a referral link, but uh, I have a bunch of other stuff that's on there. So, I'm actually uh, making a course um, to uh, show you how people how to make designs on their phone. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Do you have a course on how to just get started with merch so we can make t-shirts? Uh, yeah, I have one, like a, just a free one people can watch and how to like, what they can try out and what they can do to start on, your, on merch. On your YouTube channel? Yeah, my YouTube channel, Merch University. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, it's like a video for beginners or something like that. So I just made it the other day, or like a week ago. So. Awesome, okay, I don't see it tagging. I tagged uh, that our the 2018. I threw I threw this video in there. Maybe some people will watch us. I like you. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I keep getting all your uh, Merch University Facebook notifications. <laughs> I didn't think I made that many. <laughs> um. Just a, like in the group. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I always see those every day. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I got a couple listed. Three of them, I think, so far, maybe. Maybe two. So, Heather, are these just drafts that you made, or did you? um complete the drafts <clears throat> so you guys kind of make me feel like i'm not a true reseller because i don't do drafts i mean every <laughs> one in the world. but like i list my listings from start to finish i do not do drafts that so you take the pictures do. first and then just <clears throat> well like in poshmark i use their app and i take pictures through the poshmark app and then ebay I usually use their camera, but I do know that if you take your pictures through your camera, it's better. But I'm lazy, and I just do it through eBay. I've been called out that I'm a lazy shipper, too, and I'm not going to deny it. I'm lazy. Call me out. But I will delete your comment if you're rude <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely take the pictures first and then go for the listen from there. Isn't that, isn't that sorry? Like, why doesn't eBay update their camera or something? Okay, I have a question. Something that I'm just encountering right now. <clears throat> have you guys ever um, looked up a sold listing and clicked on it to sell one like this? And then, um, the or you want to view the original listing, and then you click on it, and it's something similar, but it's not the original listing. Right at the very top where it says the listing, there, there's that's a clickable link that'll take you to the sold. The original. Yeah, yeah but it's not. That's the problem. It's not bringing me to that. I, I haven't know. had that problem. I've had the problem where they put a, another active one in there, and then you, I've had to click it, but I've never. Oh, you know what? It. That's what it is. Yep, that's what it's telling me. Yeah, you just click. You just click on the word the listing, mm -hmm. and it'll take you to the old one. Thank you. Nora lives in Nora Guerrera is oh, Guerrero. Sorry, is always in the chat, and she lives in Austin. She did not get to go, but she wanted to go to the meetup. But we do hope to see you next year, Nora. I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, we're, we're doing a live show every Tuesday and Thursday. If, if I don't know somebody on eBay, somebody will tell me pretty quick. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I've learned, even if I don't have the problem, I've heard of it and. Somebody has proposed a solution to it. Wait, so how did y'all get around the problem? Did you figure it out, Kristen? Did he tell you? Yeah, he told me to look for a link that said the listing, and I found it, and it brought me to the right place. It's at the, top, it of, it's at the top in the top left corner of the, when the page comes up, it'll be in the top left corner. It'll say the listing has expired. Here's a similar one, but the word listing is a link. You can It links to the other one. Kristen, it doesn't say see original listing or what it is it? It said that. There was one 
link that said see original listing and i clicked on it and it didn't bring me to it so then i did what um the bearded picker just said and it did work it was it, just another link on the page it's i don't know confusing i never noticed that before so it's not this thing hey rex yeah. oh my gosh hi i'm all hey rex <laughs> Rex is so much fun, you guys. His smile is the most beautiful smile everywhere. I'm like embarrassing him probably. So, so happy. Camera. Yes. <clears throat> it's terrible, Rex. Harlan and I are taking too long at yard shows because you got a scan of books now. <laughs> scanning books. What's up, Rex? Harlan says he needs another Austin night. <laughs> we need a couple of them. Yeah. You know what's so cool is that the event is like, what, five or six days long? How many days were you there, Kristen? Six days. Yes, I was there for five. So that is awesome that it's not just like two or three days. Right, Joe? It's like six days. It is days. long. Yeah. It's like, I got there Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I love Sunday. So, yeah, it's long. I got there Wednesday and left Sunday just like you too. Yeah. So I got there Tuesday. <laughs> Are you sharing? What hotel were you at before you went to um, the Lone Star? Because you didn't show up to the Lone Star till after I left. Where were you? Oh, did I was. I stayed at the Highlander, but you know what? Next year I'm gonna um, stay at the uh, Lone Star for all the days, so it's gonna be better. So. So you liked it? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually stayed at the Lone Star for two days last year. So, yeah, I'm going to stay there all the time this time. So. But you get to split the room, right? You split yeah. It. Yeah, I'm going to split it. Probably with Gilbert. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Me and him, I split a room with him last year, too. So, we just did it again this year. So I can't good. wait to see if those are new hotels they're building behind the Lone Star. And who's going to be more money? Will Lone Star be more or will they be behind? Because behind is... Any bit cheaper, I would love to try them out. It's too country for me at Lone Star. What? <laughs> it's too country well, for me. I, I, I just I just liked it because everybody's there. So that's why I, I wish I was there. So because that's why um, I paid for two nights. Yes. You're right. Yeah. That was the best part about it. That's yeah, I've been on the road a lot and I don't spend that kind of money on hotels. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try an Airbnb, or we're gonna see what these other hotels got going on. <laughs> well, it's probably nice to be there for when uh, what, the conference, the seminar, and so really easy to go inside. But if well, I did an Airbnb, I would definitely rent a car. You know, because I, I, I think have my car, Kristen. You can, we can carpool like we did. Okay, we let's get an Airbnb, but we have to have separate rooms and separate bathrooms. Yeah. Okay. I don't care about the separate bathroom, but separate rooms is good. You will. You will. <laughs> oh yeah, she had her stuff all over the place. I forgot. I forgot. There was four people who would shared a room, and they got like a huge house. What? It was like Jameson, oh, yeah, right. like Gabriella, and like I think it was Sean and Sean. Um, somebody else. Oh, that they all. Oh, maybe I don't. I don't remember who else, but they had like I heard they had a huge house. And Don't none leave. of them do a YouTube channel, so we can't even see what they like, what the house looks like, or anything, huh? I know. I know. Neil. Oh, I think maybe I don't know. Was Dan there? No, maybe somebody. It was Summer's old. I forgot who Dan really Dan was. Dan was with uh, another person, and I don't oh, know how okay. many people they had, but they weren't in the same house. Oh, okay. No. Well, well, next year I'll uh, leave the seats in the van, so we won't have to deal with the way back. <laughs> Actually, uh, the past two years, uh, Chris and Steve and them, they all rented a big van. And so, like, during the garage sale caravan and even before other places, they were just taking everybody around. It was really fun, but they didn't do it this I year. I think that's anymore. such a good idea. They did that, but I guess they didn't get a lot of people right away up front, so they weren't for sure. But at the very end, like, everybody just started coming. Yeah, around. yeah, everybody. Oh my gosh, Rex says it took him a, like a week to get back to regular life. So true. This is the first day I've listed since we came back out of town. <laughs> yeah, true story. Me too. <laughs> really? This is really helping though. Like this live right now is getting my head back in the game. So I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Awesome. 
I've done a week for the show and my head's still isn't back in the game. Man, who was it? Carol posted that red vintage hat she sold for two hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, what a never wow. thought. Wow. Did y'all see that? And she got that at the garage sale caravan or she said, yeah. Wow. God, I was I'm kicking myself that I didn't make it to that. Oh, I know, me too. Slept in, lazy, so lazy. It was, yeah, the, humi it was the humidity. Was there? Oh, gosh. Y'all saw the, yeah, did y'all see the video up. about it? The video I posted about it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was fun. I, I actually, love your big like, clothes. I think Wait, it was I, like, I think I only saw the first one, Joe, and I forgot to go back to watch the second one. There's like four videos I made of like every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I made a video for every day, so. Oh my gosh, I gotta go back. Yeah, I'm still getting back to life here. <laughs> yeah. But um, the first year they did the garage sale caravan, the second year I was talking to them and they said, oh, I don't know if we're gonna do it again. I'm like, that was like the best thing you guys, I mean, what you guys had. And so yeah, they, awesome. they did it the next year and then like every year there's everybody just loves this. So that's why I do it, so. Huh, and nobody brought it back up on the feedback in the Facebook group. That's weird. Yeah, so. We sort of skipped that. Yes, I know that. <laughs> you guys had an adventure all your own. Wow. Y'all yeah, went to like seven or eight yards. So we went to 40. 40. I still can't believe it. Big baller over there with his Coca-Cola cans hanging from the back of the car. Oh, those were <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever calls me except for like right at this moment. <laughs> and it's like a wrong number. You're getting out of selling clothes, but you have a giant death pile that's called garage sale. Right? <laughs> garage sale. I got four listed, but they're the same thing. I'm just hitting so similar. <laughs> I like I like so sell similar. You you're doing sell similar, so you're doing separate listings for each of the things, even though they're the same, and not doing quantity. With yeah, because things? I have two of each picture, so these are two. They're all different pictures, so maybe I'll even get more exposure too. I didn't think about that, so I'll have like a lot of listings now instead of just having one listing with a listing quantity of like forty. I'm going to have over maybe six listings. So there's two here and two here. Make sense? Yeah. Which if I didn't have, if I didn't have a lot of listings, I probably wouldn't want to do that, but I've been slacking so bad to where I'm even paying for a store and I'm not using all of my credits. So. Me too. If I want later, I can probably just go in and, uh, like the other seller said, uh, cards may vary, which I forgot to remove that from all my listings. But if I wanted to, I could probably just change the quantity in the future, right? Right? Yeah. I guess. Are you maybe y'all into The Walking Dead? <laughs> the Walking Dead? Right. I'm not. But I've got uh, zombies don't do it for me. A necklace of ears, a character word, apparently. The gross. Wow. It's still, still on a rope. Interesting. Yeah. Wait, show me what you're using, bearded. Bearded. <laughs> Are you using a machine to get it off or a sprayer? This oh, no. I can hear a, a flashing, like someone's speakers going in and out like that. I thought someone was using like a sprayer or something. Uh, not me. I'm just sitting there. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's like someone has a hair sprayer thing and they're going, shh, shh, shh. It's so funny. It's okay. Like, I don't care. I don't hear it. <laughs> I don't hear it. It's just me. 
Okay, Heather. <laughs> you got called out, Rex? Oh my god. And eBay deleted your listing? Well, why'd you, why did you copywriter, what is it called? Uh, really? Seriously, Rex? I do that all the, like, every day. Like, every one of my listings is that. But I always <laughs> tweak it. You can't just copy and paste the exact same thing. Well, I mean, I guess I changed the font. Change the font? Oh, I changed the font. Yeah, no, I always take out a sentence or two or take off a couple words. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> So funny how everyone's different. <laughs> Some people leave good stuff out too, so yeah. Gotta add some some people just don't know how to talk. So we gotta fix up their grammar. Fix up their grammar. Don't copy and paste bad grammar. Damn it, eBay, come on. Oh no, it's my phone, not eBay. Scotty Peeler, a bookseller's dream tool. Oh, heck yeah. I agree there. Scotty Peeler's. You see some things and they still flagged you? Whoa. See, one of these cards that I got, and I picked up four of them in this design, which I have more, um, for 74 cents, I think they were. And right away, the, there's only one listed, and it's listed for 11 19 but let's see when I go to sold. May not have as much luck on solds. And there's one for six seventy nine. So I feel like I mean seventy four cents, and I'm just hitting still similar. One sold for nine. When was it? April sixth, back in April. But I don't know. Maybe Christmas will do better. Good stock and stuffers. <clears throat> yeah. Heck yeah. <clears throat> have you have you guys have any of you i don't know if the guys but um sold hair extensions these i know because they're mine have never been worn and they're real hair and i bought them for like four hundred dollars years ago how do does hair do on ebay you should check on poshmark on that for real really you can sell it on there yeah, I would do, I would cross post it. it. I would list it as an accessory. They may take it down, but go ahead and list it, and you may sell it quick if you list it for a good price. But go to the solds first. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that because I also have Jessica Simpson hair extensions. Yeah, I know. I've never sold them. I listed some wigs, and they never sold, or I never listed them. They went in the garage sale. But you know what? Wigs are so easy to buy on Amazon, and they're all different prices, but. I'm not expecting to get a lot because of the competition. I don't know what they are, Rex, but they're kind of remind me of like little cards with music on it or something. Mm -hmm. It says five drop next cards. I think you have to download it on the App Store, Google Play or something. I don't know. I went to Toys R Us today and bought like 40 of these for 74 cents. So I just... What are they? Drop. Drop. Mix cards. Huh. I thought, hell, I don't care. I'll just sit on these for 10 years if I have to and we'll sell them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to grow my 74 cents into like a lot, right? Maybe. I don't know. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Hmm. Bearded, what are you looking on? eBay? I'm currently doing an Amazon order, but I sell them both. I spent all morning shipping eBay and now I'm now I'm packaging up an Amazon order. <laughs> nice. You've been doing that this whole time? I'm ordering some new Scotty peelers right now because this one right here is dull as <laughs> What is Scott, Scotty Peelers? Let me look it up. What is it? It's there, the best thing that you'll ever do for yourself. Um, yeah. I was Are actually you? talking to uh, Sean. Y'all yeah, remember Sean from the from the meetup? Yeah. yeah. And uh, he was saying that he buys uh, 
plastic razor blades, and that's what he he says that's better than the Scotty Pillar. I've got those. I think it's the same thing, isn't it? Kind of, kind of. I don't know. He was just showing me that one day, and I was like, oh, that's cool, man. Interesting. Never heard of a Scotty Pillar till today. Uh, when he's talking about the plastic razor blades, they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's them. Oh, oh, yeah. I've never seen a plastic razor blade in my life. And they're cheap. They're extremely cheap. They're like 100 for like five bucks. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen those. He says those are easy to carry around in the store when he wants to scan something and needs to remove his sticker or something. So. Oh. Now, can I bring that to the airport? Is the Probably question. it's plastic. <laughs> it's plastic. Where they're the. <laughs> Yeah. They're gonna put you in the line for further examination. Good. I'll stick those in my bra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> All right, guys. I guess there's like three minutes left. We'll have to do this again. I'm gonna take the kids out swimming because I don't know. They need to get some air. Um, <laughs> some air. We ran some errands today, but yeah. So. It's been fun. Where's my virtual high five? I'm going to be retarded and gay already. <laughs> All right, guys. See y'all later. Okay. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, wait, bye. Bye. sorry, I had to miss the meetup this year. I don't know if you remember this year. You asked to follow me. I was using an old cracked phone with a crappy GPS and took us in circles. Oh, Joe just bounced and he had a message. I'll have to tell him at the end of the message, Julie, to go back and read your uh, comment. Sorry, Julie. Try and let us know how it goes. We'll do. See you guys later. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.